Well guys, the Wii is officially 17 years old. Jeez, I remember when the Wii was only like 15 years old. <laughs> Man, does time fly. And yes, I do acknowledge that the Wii U's birthday was also- was yesterday. You don't have to remind me. I know I may not be using my Wii because I already have my Wii U to run games. And because the quality on the Wii U looks 10 times better and how it was also my first ever console I played. Hell, I even remember a vivid memory of when I was- when I was customizing my Mii and I was begging my mom to buy me the default outfit my Mii was wearing in the Mii channel. I would say the Wii shaped how I am now and why I don't really like playing games that aren't Nintendo related or just simply don't have Miis in them. Then again, the only games I've enjoyed playing that don't have Miis in them are Super Monkey Ball and My Sims Kingdom. It all just comes down to nostalgia, I'm, I'm not gonna deny that. Like, trying to play a whole new different game to me just sounds scary as hell. I'd much rather be in my own comfort zone playing the same Wii games I've played before a million times. That may sound depressing to some people, but personally, I don't care. Though I'll admit, I wouldn't really mind playing Splatoon maybe after I completely finish playing all of my Wii and Wii U games. That is, if I get all of them, which isn't really going to be happening anytime soon, unfortunately. Like I said before, the Wii kind of molded certain parts of me, like my desire to draw, or at least it motivated me to draw. It's just something about the Miis that I love about them. They carry around this cute, funny aura that I love, even the ugly ones. I don't know how else to describe it, but they just stand out more than any other customizable avatar. With the Miis, you're able to make literally anyone, whether it be your uncle, your grandma, Peter Griffin, can't really do that and say, go vacation. The avatars there are really limited. Can't change the hair, the eyes, nose, and mouth. Same goes for the sports mates from N Nintendo Switch Sports. Well, yeah, you can change how the faces look. I just feel the characters just look way too cute. For example, say you wanted to make your grandparents for some reason. He would look really off in the sportsmate style, at least for me. I don't know how else to describe it, but they they would just look really, really off. Why Nintendo thought making new avatars and completely getting rid of any ties to Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, whilst also naming it Nintendo Switch Sports will forever remain a mystery. In general, I think the Miis are the best video game characters in terms of customization and being iconic. That isn't just an opinion, that, that's a fact. I don't think I've seen someone try to make a Peter Griffin sports mate. That is, that I know of. There will never be a console like the Wii, and there will never be a game ju that's just like Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort. I think the only references I've seen to the Wii are in Family Guy, The Amazing World of Gumball, and that weird looking Powerpuff Girls special that came out in like 2014. Just something I wanted to bring up for no reason, other than I'm talking about the Wii in this video. Now I'm pretty sure most of you guys were waiting for me to talk about this. I mean, it's literally what I'm drawing on the screen. That being, it's also Bryson's birthday. Now, canonically, Bryson is supposed to be 17, my age. Yet, I tend to put him in scenarios in which a 17-year-old shouldn't be in. And to get past that, what I do is something I like to call aging up, where I age up Bryson to be around 21 or 22. With that, he's able to do all sorts of adult things. But at least for the sake of today, he's turning 17. Not exactly sure how would how I'd write a birthday episode for Bryson. I mean, sure, he's throwing himself a party and... Uh... Okay, I think I thought of something. I thought of doing something where he's getting asked by Alan to not drink at the party, but he does anyway, but in secret. I'm hoping to 
sort of dive into Bryson's alcoholism in that episode. But I will share it here, at least, just so you can get an idea. Ever since he turned 21, he started drinking because, well, that, that, that's probably just what 21-year-olds think do, I guess. There is a lot more lore to him, but I'm gonna keep it at this, just to, just to keep more of it a surprise. Another thing that I'd like to bring up is that Bryson tends to lose Triple N exactly on his birthday. And it's mainly because it's his birthday and that he, he, he deserves to have anything on his birthday, I guess. In conclusion, the Wii is still a gem and Bryson needs to start taking Triple N seriously. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Not really sure what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving since that's around the corner, but I'll see you next video. Bye.